Let's look at an interest problem. You invested $10,000 in two accounts paying 8% and 10% annual interest. At the end of the year, the total interest from these investments was $940. How much was invested at each rate? Well, in step one, we need to start and let x equal some unknown quantity. Now, it really doesn't matter whether we let x equal the amount invested at 8% or the amount invested at 10%. So let's just say we'll let x equal the amount invested at 8 percent. Now in step two, we need to write any other unknown quantities in terms of x. The only other unknown quantity is how much we invested at 10 percent. So here's how we're going to figure out how much we invested at 10 percent. Whatever amount we did not invest at 8 percent is the remaining amount from the 10,000 that we did invest at 10 percent. So what we can do is we can start with the 10,000 and we can subtract x. In other words, let's subtract the amount already invested at 8 percent and whatever's left is the amount invested at 10 percent. Now we're ready for step three. In step three, we're going to use the information in step one and two to write an equation in terms of x. Now, in order to write this equation, we have to keep in mind one thing. We know the formula for interest. Interest is equal to the principal invested times the rate times the time. So, let's find, first of all, the principal invested in the first investment. That's x times the rate. 8%, but we want to make sure we write it as a decimal, 0 0.08, times the time in the original problem we're told is one year. That amount that I've just written down really equals the interest from the first investment. We're going to add to that the interest from the second investment. Well, the interest from the second investment is the principal times the rate times the time. So the principal from the second investment is 10,000 minus x times the rate, which is 10 percent in a decimal form, 0 0.10, times the time, which was one year. So this amount that I just wrote down is really the interest from the second investment. And we're told in the original problem that the total interest from these two investments was $940. So if we add them up, it should equal $940. Now this equation that I have written in blue is the equation that we'll solve in step four. And here's the equation in step four we'll solve this equation. So we need to distribute. x times 0 0.08 times 1 is simply 0 0.08x plus we have 10,000 minus x times 0 0.10 times 1. So 10,000 times 0 0.10 is just 1,000 minus x times 0 0.10 times 1 is 0 0.10x and that's equal to 940. We'll combine like terms, so 0.08x minus 0.10x is negative 0.02x plus 1,000 is equal to 940. We'll subtract 1,000 from both sides, negative 0.02x equals negative 60. And when I divide both sides of the equation by negative 0.02, I get x is equal to $3,000. Now, remember, in step one, I let x equal the amount invested at 8 percent. So what I can say is, since x is equal to 3,000, 3,000 was invested at 8 percent. And then I have to take 10,000 and subtract 3,000 
and I'll get a total of 7,000 was invested at 10%. Now it's a good idea in step five just to check our work. How can we check our work? Well, we have principal that was invested, $3,000. If $3,000 was invested at 8%, the interest earned would be 3,000 times 0 0.08. Plus, if 7,000 was invested at 10%, the interest earned would be 7,000 times 0 0.10. If we multiply out these numbers and add the two quantities, we get a total of 940. So, our solution is correct.